The two men follow the footprints and chase them out. At the same time, the bald sheriff arrived with his investigation team. Jack was nowhere to be seen. They look around. Lisa found out that Lena had seen the stone statue, so she rushed over to him to ask for details. They come across the two men running out of the hospital. They knew it was urgent, so they drove off together in the car. Lena said the statue he saw was wet. Everywhere he went he left footprints. Lisa, however, said what he saw was a pair of wings, like an angel. Amy thought it was a water angel, by the way they described it, and so it was. With Amy's guidance, Jack was found in front of the statue, and told Jack to stop looking. His brother had disappeared years ago, and that's when it dawned on Lisa. The statue is telling her to save Iz, not the undercover agent. It was Jack in front of him, but the first order of business was to find a safe place to stay, so they set Jack up in an abandoned boiler room. At the same time, Jack is added to the investigation team's watch list. However, Lisa, because because of these two mistakes, Lisa was beginning to have doubts about herself. Lisa thinks to herself, what do you want from me? The boy is sharing his consciousness with the old man, who is miles away. All the pain he suffered was reflected in the boy. It turns out that the boy and the old man were both passengers on the mysterious Flight 828. When Roy learns that Lisa and the others are harboring a stowaway from Flight 828, Roy angrily rebukes Lisa because a group of local men were secretly investigating the secret, so secretly taking some of the homeless passengers in the wild for brutal human experimentation. If this group found out what they were doing, would have put him and his family in danger, so, for the sake of his wife and children, and after making his position clear, and left without a backward glance.